Namaskar, this is Vishnu, co-founder at Kheti Gadi. And today we have a very special guest from industry, from the implement side. We welcome Mr. Sanjay Kapoor, Chief Executive Officer, Lemken India. Sir, Kheti Gadi presents showing success with industry stores. You are welcome. To begin with, we would like to understand that a brand which is renowned worldwide with the German technology, where does it stand today in India since you have just celebrated your 10th anniversary? Can you please throw some light on that? Yeah, sure. Thank you so much Vishnuji and thank you to Kheti Gadi for giving us an opportunity to interact with you all. Uh, yes, uh, Lemkin has uh, just uh, concluded their first uh, 10 years of their journey in India. We started uh, uh, in 2010 by taking a land over here and other uh, approvals and all. And 2012 we started the commercial production. That's why we 2022 end we uh, concluded our first uh, 10th anniversary in India. You see, when uh, Lemkin Worldwide decided to come into in India, they wanted to come with their proven products. Though we have uh, so many other uh, implements besides plough, but uh, since at that time it was thought that uh, in Indian territories as well as the, whatever the crop practices are there, they will should come down with uh, ploughs as first. And our first ten years were, I would say, quite satisfying. First few years were very very difficult because uh, hydraulic reversible moldwood plough practice was not there. Most of the uh, farmers at that time were using mechanical ploughs and rather we could say that uh, in India Lemkin only started the practice of promoting uh, hydraulic uh, reversible mold mold plough and that too in uh, deep rooted crops area it can it, it is Maharashtra or potato belts or cotton belts and uh, I must say that uh, we have seen a lot of uh, ups and downs there were times when uh, even uh, we people were a little impatient for why the product is not getting sold in India, why farmers are not adopting to the practices which we are guiding. But yes, we were very, very patient. We thought that we should uh, educate the farmer for giving the benefit of our product. What is their benefit in terms of a fuel uh, saving in the fuel consumption, increase in the yield, increasing uh, decrease in the weeds and other things. And that has... Uh, uh, given us a lot of benefits. That, that's very interesting sir actually because uh, I think uh, it needs to be understood and there is no one else uh, better than you who can explain us. One aspect is of course uh, post sowing wherein uh, various fertilizers, crop nutrition, pesticides are basically given so that a farmer gets a maximum productivity. How does land preparation plays a role where or rather it, does it affect the yield? Yeah, it definitely affects the yield because see, what is happening is that uh, most of the farmers uh, throughout India, they are working on the top layer of the soil. Okay. So with the continuous usage of uh, some of the typical uh, implements our farmers are using in India, there, there is a, 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 a creation of hard pan. Okay. And then the fertile soil which is there down below the first six inches or seven inches, that is never comes into the picture. So hydraulic reversible plow taught the farmers that once a year that soil inversion has to take place. So with that uh, the fresh and uh, you can say the fertile soil comes on the top of the strata and then the soil which is working so uh, 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 hard by the, by, the, by the farmer it goes down. Okay. And that gives uh, the increase in yield. We have seen that and we have proven to the farmers because in the initial phases, uh, what we would, what we have done is that uh, when the farmer was not getting convinced, we asked them that we give us small plot. Okay. We do, we'll do uh, uh, seed prep preparation for that plot. You do rest of the okay. things, and then you compare after six months or nine months when the crop is uh, uh, standing. Yeah, it's, it's it's very imperative actually to uh, do the necessary solarization of the soil, insecticide of the yes. soil, so that it helps. But there are so many other uh, benefits also, sir. Mm -hmm. uh, when we went to Punjab, Punjab is a typical uh, wheat and uh, wheat and paddy rotation, okay. where people are not uh, uh, habitual of trying to new crops. 
though the government is pushing very hard for the diversification of the crop for saving the uh, water bed. So it was very difficult for us to convince the uh, uh, Punjab farmers because they definitely they are one of the uh, lead uh, runners as far as the magnetization in India is concerned. Mm -hmm. But then when, when we showed them the benefit of uh, plowing, they, they, they started taking it. Okay. You see, uh, the maximum benefit uh, besides that the soil inversion, uh, deep rooting crop, the other benefit which they have taken is that when they plough the land, the water does not uh, 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 stay. Uh, there is a proper seepage of water throughout the bed. Even if there is excess rain, water flows down. Whereas the farmers who are not using hydraulic reversible plough, uh, and if per chance the uh, rains are very heavy, the uh, the water gets standard on the yes. uh, side of the plot, which damages the crop. Here Absolutely. in our case, the people who are using hydraulic reversible plow, they don't uh, face that kind of oh, thing. Oh, great. Definitely, sir, I mean, uh, Lemken plow is like uh, known, no doubts on that front. But you have also recently launched few other products. And how does the uh, overall product uh, variety works? I mean, plow is, of course, it's the leading product for you. How is the other uh, mechanization? I tell you, I tell you. Uh, after the plows, we came, came into uh, India with our uh, uh, cultivator. It's a uh, little high-end uh, time cultivator which is available in 6 times, 7 times and 9 times. Which has got three different uh, functions. It is not like a typical cultivator which is Indian farmer is using which is only used for only cultivating. But it has, it, it, it cultivates, it loosens and it levels. So three functions one cultivator is okay. giving. Okay. After that, we came with the power arrows, but unfortunately, uh, power arrow concept in India is at a very nascent stage. Okay. One, because the cost impact is there. It's very, very costly as compared to other equipment. So people are still not using it, but wherever people have bought uh, power arrows, they are very, very happy. They get very good crop okay. uh, yield and other things. After that, we uh, thought of that uh, uh, because the hydraulic reversible uh, moldboard plow is a particularly, uh, you can say that more than 50% of our customers are from the sugarcane area, be it Maharashtra, be it Tamil Nadu, be it uh, Karnataka, or be it wherever the sugarcane and other places are grown, maybe some part of Gujarat. So we thought that uh, let's build up on one core area where the where we can help sugarcane farmers. Okay. So then we came up with the subsoils because subsoiling is also uh, a kind of a forgotten practice in the Indian market okay. and with that we came up with the shredder, oblique mulcher, oblique sugarcane trash cutter. So these three things are definitely required by a sugarcane farmer where he can now earlier he was only dependent upon one product now there are three products for sugarcane and then we analyze that whatever we do we will not be able to scale up uh, uh, the organization or scale up our sales to a bigger level because the market for these products are li limited and then in India 275,000 or maybe 300,000 units are sold of road retailers so we thought that let's be part of uh, that uh, unit why don't we because a lot of uh, Lemkin customers uh, were asking us that why don't you give us road retailers we have all the products of Lemkin but for road retailer we have to go to the, some other brand so Roti Tillers were uh, there in Lemkin worldwide uh, uh, portfolio but uh, since Europe Roti Tillers have, they have come up uh, uh, over that and maybe 30 years or 40 years ago they were using that. Okay. So there were some designs available with our uh, company, parent company and then we asked them to help us and now uh, last year uh, and December only we launched our Roti Tillers right into this. Okay, sir, one thing since you are a global brand, what difference do you see when it comes to farm mechanization in India and globally? Because whatever said and done today, we are still uh, behind when it comes to farm mechanization. We all know it's somewhere between 40-45%. So what is the difference and how a global brand like yours is actually value adding in the Indian market? Yeah, you are right. Uh, uh, if we talk about the overall uh, mechanization level, maybe 43% or 45%. Maybe if you talk about inter intermediate uh, different operations, harvesting maybe 70% or irrigation maybe 35%, uh, seed preparation may maybe 40% or like that. Uh, 
planting is or seeding is very very less maybe less than 30 percent uh, it's a, a matter of uh, you can say that uh, again uh, check okay. so uh, we are far behind as far as the world standards are concerned everybody knows that uh, main issue what we see we have analyzed in indian market is that the land fragmentation okay so lands are very small and the capacity of our Indian farmers. Okay. Because if we see the bigger lands, they are in the developed countries, there the tractor horsepower is high, then the farmer is able to have three or four equipment which is used, maybe for uh, seabed preparation, maybe for seeding, planting, crop career, harvesting. So here, a farmer is the, uh, not so rich that he can afford maybe one or maybe two equipment. The government is helping us, uh, uh, helping the Indian farmers by having uh, uh, CHCs or uh, giving subsidies to that. So it's a it's a uh, matter of time when the average horsepower in India goes up and then the farmer uh, will have the affordability to have uh, better equipment and larger equipment. Okay. Does, does, uh, see like for example this is, this is basically kind of uh, maybe uh, misunderstood by a lot of uh, uh, industry wherein we primarily we say that when it comes to farm mechanization tractor definitely is the major component having said that the implement part is actually doing the real mechanization if you actually see tractor is actually pulling it what is your opinion on that because uh, this tractor industry, industry is around 50,000 crores uh, implement industry is around 15,000 crores organized but every village you go nook and corner someone is developing some kind of implement how do you see at, uh, this as a challenge or how, how do you look at this? It's a big challenge. You see, uh, you, you have uh, uh, mentioned about the absolute uh, uh, turnover in terms of uh, crores or like. If you talk about uh, uh, the percentage, uh, in Indian contents, maybe 65%, uh, if you talk about the total mechanization industry, 65% goes to the tractors and only 35% goes to the implements. Whereas in developed country, it is the reverse. Exactly. It yeah. is 35% and implements are 65%. You talk about uh, uh, the difficulty and the things. You see, uh, in developed country, there is an ecosystem. Okay. Here, we don't have the ecosystem. Here, the soil, the cropping pattern or cropping practices changes after every 100 kilometers. True. And farmer has very high level of trust upon the person which is in the near vicinity. Yeah. If you talk about the cultivator, there are more than 100 types of cultivator being used in India because every district, if you go to Barabanki, it is different. If you go to uh, Kushinagar, it, it will be different. Okay. So that farmer has a trust that he will if use because he thinks that the person who is uh, sitting in near vicinity, he knows the uh, details about the crop or the cropping pattern or the uh, cropping practices so him his implement if I, if I buy from the local person okay. that will give him better yield so that's a challenge which we are also facing because we've got uh, uh, limited number of variants we don't have a variant suitable for x district and y district and z districts okay. and in today's uh, technology world how do you see digitization helping your brand or digitizing helping overall agriculture you see a lot of things are being uh, talked at the bigger forums about digitization in, in agriculture so but in real practice if you go to the field uh, still we are uh, too far away or too yeah. far away uh, digitization in in sense of uh, I could say that uh, through uh, digitized uh, digital media may be uh, helping uh, farmers but if you say that uh, his equipment or his tractor has, are using that uh, digital uh, uh, applications, it is not like that. Okay. Except for a few part where people are using, utilizing drones and other thing and capturing data about the health of the plant and other thing. Okay. The rest, uh, majority of the people, maybe it, uh, if you go to the very advanced people in Punjab and all, even then they are also not utilizing that. Okay, great. Uh, last question, sir. Uh, how do you think uh, brand Lemken is showing success for themselves in the Indian market for the next three to five years? Uh, good question, thanks. 
You see, uh, we have grown from a single product company to uh, at the present we have bought seven eight uh, products in our portfolio. If we talk about the variants uh, put together, then maybe uh, multiplied by five. Every product has four or five variants. So we are very very uh, you, know, you can say excited about the coming years in Indian mechanization industry, and also we are working in the same direction. Uh, we'll be coming up uh, with some of the good products which are not there uh, in Indian mechanized industry at present. Like I'll give you a brief example, like for example, uh, uh, seeding technology. Either we have a mechanical seed drills, which is less than uh, uh, 100,000 rupees, yeah. or pneumatic planters, right. which is uh, more than 400,000 or 500,000. So there is a huge gap. Okay. There are farmers who want to invest, who wants to take the benefit through the precision uh, planting okay. so we'll be coming up with the two or three different kind of seeders uh, uh, one maybe which will lie in between which will not be pneumatic uh, planter but will give a, a kind of a precision uh, seeding so that the farmer gets proper utilization of the seeds and he get a good yield so there are different uh, thought processes on other equipment also because as a parent company uh, we have a lot of products in our kitty but unfortunately, those uh, products starts from for tractors uh, starting from 150 HP and above. But yes, at the same time, uh, we've got uh, uh, some partners in India who are ready to downsize those products as per the Indian need. So uh, earlier, maybe the our parent company were not having that kind of uh, confidence whether uh, the Indian market will respond uh, respond in that way. So today we are sitting on. A, a level where they are also confident and we will definitely come up with uh, some of the better mechanization solution for our Indian farmers. Okay. Sir, I know I said it's a last question but I have to ask this. Sure. Uh, but definitely the innovation part and the technology part uh, comes at a price and uh, the current situation uh, where uh, the way you are handling the price gap is I want to ask you directly because comparatively if I have to take a plow maybe it is costing X price and maybe a lemkin of course no doubts in terms of quality and work but how are you basically trying to match up the price aspect in India so see, if we talk about five years back uh, at that time our uh, products were very very costly okay uh, the main reason was that uh, most of the 80 percent of the uh, components or material was uh, imported now at this point of time, maybe less than 5% of the components are imported. Most of the things we have Indianized. And when it is localized, we get the price benefit. And let me tell you, in uh, most of the equipment, we are at par with the, I don't say that we'll be, we are 5% cheaper, but we'll, we may not be more than 5% costly also. Okay. So we are at par. Okay. That's great. Great. Uh, thank you very much, sir, for thank your you insightful so thoughts. Thank you so much for Thank you so much. Uh, I'm to apply, sir. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Namaskar.